Hey everyone, this is Simply Syrup and I have a very helpful video planned out today where we will be going over the best methods to make money in the early game of Medieval Dynasty. As always, thank you so much for tuning in and if you enjoy the video, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. We have lots of great information out on Medieval Dynasty already, but the best is yet to come. Before I take up any more of your time with this introduction, let's get into the video. Before we jump into our first money making practice, I just wanted to state that there are no money exploits in the early game of Medieval Dynasty. There are a few in the later game that we will be covering on the channel, but for you new players, don't expect to be rich on day one. These practices we are about to go over are the best ways to make money in Medieval Dynasty, and if you follow them, then you will have a much better start, but you won't become a millionaire the first year. So with that in mind, let's get into our first money making method. There is no doubt in my mind that one of the best ways to make some extra silver in the early game is to craft and sell stone knives. Knives have a low carry weight, are easy to make, and sell for a decent amount of silver. The biggest benefit to becoming a traveling knife salesman is that you can easily make them anywhere from the quick crafting screen. Unlike other goods that require a station at your home base, knives can be made on the go anytime, anywhere. Knives can be made by using 5 sticks and 2 stone, making them incredibly cheap to craft. They have a low carry weight at 0.5 kilos, meaning you can stack up a pretty good amount of them and they will sell for 20 coins at the base price, meaning this is what they will sell for if you don't have any skill points in barter. Some people will encourage you to sell spears, which are a viable option but have a much higher carry weight at 1.5 kilos. Additionally, spears will only sell for 10 pieces of silver, so I would say that knives are the much better option compared to spears. If you really want to make some extra coin from knives, then stick around until tip number 5 to learn how to maximize production. The next method I wanted to give you today for making money in the early game will require a few buildings to be built. You will need to have both the woodcutters and workshop completed to take advantage of this method. But you should be able to get these completed pretty early on in your playthrough, so I decided it should be included in this video. This scheme will be called the wooden vial method, and it's simple but effective. In our first tip, we use sticks and stones. In this tip, we are going to be using wood logs, so you should be able to efficiently use most of the resources you are picking up in the early game. The wooden vial method goes like this. To start off, all you need to do is chop down some trees. Let's say you can carry 15 logs at a time. You will take these 15 logs to your wood shop and then turn them into 30 planks. Then take the 30 planks to your workshop and turn them into wooden vials. Now, wooden vials are a scheme you have to purchase, but you can easily make your money back if you plan on using this method. These 30 planks you have with you will turn into 300 vials, which will net you a profit of 450 coins at the base price and only take up 30 kilos of inventory space. There are two important things to note here. If you decide to let your villagers use this method, they will passively make you coins, but not near as fast as you could do it yourself. Also, the crafting time can be pretty long if you are using this method. This can be easily fixed by turning quick crafting on in your gameplay settings. I don't consider turning quick crafting on as cheating because it offers no advantage to your gameplay, so do with this information what you will. Our third tip in this video is going to talk about something that you will always be doing in Medieval Dynasty, and that is hunting. As an experienced hunter myself, I can assure you that there is always a little extra coin to be made from taking down some deer. Hunting alone won't be enough to pay your taxes, but just like making knives, this is something you can always do anywhere in the game. The big tip here is what to do after you secure your kill. I would suggest that you immediately drop the meat, it won't sell for that much, and then turn the leather into simple bags. Simple bags can also be crafted in your quick crafting menu so you don't have to worry about returning to base after each kill. 
A simple bag will sell for 25 coins at base price, which makes them much better than simply selling the raw leather. Due to how easy it is to take down deer in Medieval Dynasty, I would say that you can always make some serious coin by simply hunting from town to town. Our fourth tip of this video is actually not a tip for making money, but instead a warning. For tip number four today, I wanted to let you know that you shouldn't be selling raw materials in the early game. Once you move on to the later game, raw materials like seeds will become much easier to come by and eventually will be your main source of making money. But in the early game, it is much more beneficial to try and sell craftables. There is one notable exception to this rule, and while I wouldn't recommend it, it is considered a decent way to make money in the game, and that is by gathering and selling straw. Straw, of course, can be gathered from reeds on most shorelines, and due to its abundance and low carry weight, it is a viable option to collect for sale. Truthfully, while it may be a bit boring, Gathering and selling straw is one of the fastest ways to make money in the early game of Medieval Dynasty. I will give you this warning though. Straw is one of the most important resources in the game. You should consider carefully the benefits and risk of selling one of the most used resources in the game for a little extra cash. Generally speaking, you will make much more money from turning your raw materials into goods. If the material has anything that it can be turned into, you should take the time to craft it before selling. The only exception I can think of to this rule is meat, which is why I told you to drop it in the last tip. Roasting meat will only generate one extra piece of silver per piece of meat, meaning that if you don't have fast crafting on, then it's probably not worth your time. For our fifth and final tip, I'm going with the old adage that a penny saved is a penny earned. But I believe there are actually lots of pennies you could be missing out on in the newest version of Medieval Dynasty. Specifically, what I wanted to make note of here is that in the game, the newest system is fast travel. I believe that if you are using fast travel in the early game, then you are making a big mistake. I'm making this claim for two reasons. For one, like we said, a penny saved is a penny earned. Fast travel is pretty expensive and you can save lots of money over your career if you simply avoid it. But more important than that is what you are missing out on by fast traveling. I believe that when you fast travel, you are missing out on such a big possibility for making additional coins that I would say fast travel should be avoided at all costs. Two of the three best early game money making techniques that we talked about in this video are meant to be effective when moving from town to town. When it comes to both making stone knives and hunting, these activities can become extremely efficient if you decide to skip the fast travel and simply adventure to the next town you want to visit. And at their core, this is what makes these methods so beneficial. They can become almost a passive activity for you as you explore the map. Additionally, if you decide to fast travel, you will miss out on what is actually the best way to make money early in Medieval Dynasty. Yes, we saved the best for last, so only my truest fans would understand that the best way to make money isn't actually by doing honest business, but instead by scavenging from overturned carts, abandoned camps, and left behind barrels. The simple truth is, by adventuring, you can make multiples more than any other activity in the game. Well, in the early game that is. Just remember to check each location of interest carefully. Items of value will absolutely be hidden from you, and if you're not careful, you will run right past them. Well, that's about all I have for an early game money making guide. These tips and methods should be just what you need to make enough silver to get your taxes paid and maybe store a little bit extra away for next year. I really hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, please consider subscribing to the channel. I have lots of more Medieval Dynasty content that will be released soon and you won't want to miss it. Until next time, this is Simply Syrup signing off.